Hi, I'm Micah, reporting for Kids First, and today I'll be reviewing Avatar The Way of Water. Fans have been waiting since 2009 to see the sequel to Avatar, eager to see what new adventures await. Audiences are in for a treat because Avatar The Way of Water is full of adventures that make the wait worth it. Avatar The Way of Water follows Jake Scully, played by Sam Worthington, Nateri, played by Zoe Saldana, and their family as they settle in Pandora. This period of peace doesn't last very long due to the return of a familiar enemy of Jake's. The family now has to move to a different region where they have to learn to fit in and learn the way of water. As disaster and surprise continues to strike, Jake is given the task of defeating his enemies in order to save himself, his family, and his people. Avatar The Way of Water is a dynamic and engaging story that's perfect for a night at the movies. It's a long movie running for three hours and 12 minutes. So some scenes where Jake and his family are learning the ways of the Met Kaina people feel almost too long and sometimes can feel as though they overpower the villain subplot. However, the scenes aren't anticlimactic, so they help my attention. The CGI in Avatar The Way of Water stands out from the minute the film begins. The characters have high quality, unique features, and the underwater scenes and animals are astonishing to see. The groundbreaking new CGI techniques used give it a fantastical tone that's distinct from other films. I love the representation of a sibling-type bond. Nateon, played by Jamie Flatters, Loak, played by Britton Dalton, Kiri, played by Sigourney Weaver, Took, played by Trinity Jolie, and even Spider, played by Jake Champion, don't always get along. However, when it comes down to a life-or-death situation, protecting one another is always the most important. These relationships have the power to make the audience laugh and cry. Avatar The Way of Water carries the message that family is everything, whether they're related by blood or not. Jake clearly cares about his biological children and is willing to do anything for them. But even with Kiri, Spider, and both the Navi and Met Kaina people, you see his protective nature and the protective nature that the family has over each other. I give Avatar The Way of Water 4.5 out of 5 stars and recommend it for ages 12 to 18 plus adults. Avatar The Way of Water releases in theaters December 16th, 2022, so make sure you check this out. I'm Micah reporting for Kids First, and that's how I see it. Make sure you like and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss my next review. See you next time!